Good morning, everybody. It's me again. I'm just doing a another daily vlog day in my life situation. Um, right now I'm doing some dog walking for one of my neighbors and just enjoying the fresh air. Um, I'm all bundled up. If you would have seen me yesterday or the day before, you would have been like, what the heck? Because it was like literally 90 degrees and now it's in like 50 or below i'm not even sure so yeah maryland we take uh the full spring to a whole nother level so that's just nice if you're from the dmv then you know what i'm talking about otherwise well you don't but that's what's going on so just gonna take you guys on a day with me see what i'm doing um I need to do a lot of stuff actually. Um, I'm in the middle of creating my Reiki level two workbook for one of my students who's about to graduate from level one. Um, I also have to make her certificate. I'm not gonna be printing it yet, but I definitely need to do that soon because I think her graduation is in like a couple of weeks. So, I need to get that stuff situated. Um, probably won't get to the level two PowerPoints just yet, but definitely want to get at least a workbook done so I can figure out the PowerPoint situation later on. Um, I also have an ASOS unboxing that I can do with you guys so you can see my reaction in real time. Um, hopefully it's good, hopefully it all fits. Yeah, I went a little crazy with online shopping that week, so <laughs> kind of regretting it, hoping some things are returnable. I don't know, we'll see. Um, a little worried about some boots that I ordered because, yeah, well, well you'll, you'll see how they look. We'll, we'll see together, basically. You'll get my uh, initial reaction to everything. But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoy the video. See you guys soon. Mm. So I just got back home. Um, I had to go meet up with a potential dog owner for somebody I'm going to be possibly sitting for um, a few weeks in the summer. So I went to go do that. And then as you saw, I went to that cute coffee shop, got myself a nice drink. Um, it was at a coffee shop that I had actually never been to, so that was cool. I love going to new coffee shops. That's, like, one of my favorite things to do ever. Um, so yeah, I went to do that and then got home. I filmed a huge thrift haul from everything that I picked up earlier 
this week with one of my friends when we went thrifting. Here's like the big ass um, pile. But yeah, stay tuned for that. It will honestly probably go up before this video. So you guys will see that soon. Probably, uh, I don't know. Well, you don't even know what date it is, so I guess it, it doesn't matter. But, yeah, that'll be coming out next. Um, yeah, and I actually have an unboxing to do. I got a ASOS um, delivery that came earlier this week, and I have not opened it. I have not looked at it, and honestly, kind of forgot what is even in there because I was feeling a little spendy when I bought everything. And, yeah, hopefully that stuff works out so let's get to the unboxing all right y'all so i just got an asos haul um i have not opened it yet so we're gonna be unboxing that together and getting my reaction real time because yeah like i mentioned earlier i kind of purchased these things almost on a whim i was getting a little crazy for no reason um so yeah let's hope that it's actually it's good as I thought they were. Um, so the first thing, ugh, already I absolutely hate the texture. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, ugh. well, the top is fine. It's like that ribbed, I don't even know what this is, seer sucker, stretchy stuff. So it's definitely going to fit. Um, yeah, it's like Basically everything is gingham except for the pairs of shoes that I got. But it's like this rust checkered gingham dress and it has almost like a racer back style um, with adjustable straps, so that's good. Um, I'm sure it was like a midi dress, but you know, I'm short, so it'll be a maxi on me. I hate the texture of like the actual dress itself. It's like, it's like a, a Kleenex that you left in your pants and then you washed your clothes and then dried it and then found the Kleenex later. That's kind of what it feels like. Um, it feels like a, like a dryer sheet that's been used up, unfortunately. So there's that, number one. Um, I'll try everything on, obviously. So here is that dress. Um, on, I actually like it a lot more. It's very flattering, in my opinion, on my um, body shape. I love this, like, smocked top. It's very flattering, in my opinion. Um, it's got almost like a racer back style, like high neck. And then the back is just, like, standard spaghetti straps. Um, and then it has, like, a tiered skirt that is on me maxi um and yeah it's actually really long so i am going to need to get it hemmed but actually this is a lot better on than a i thought it was gonna be gingham piece number two so this texture is a lot better um let me see no idea what size it is. Let me see. It's a US size 10. Um, but the brand is from New Look, so I know this might be a little different. But it's a, another gingham dress. Um, the one with like the square neck. It's got like these perfect Easter colors. Um, there's like oranges, yellows, greens, and pinks. So it's really pretty. And it's like technically a mini dress, but for me, it'll probably be a midi dress. Um, and then the back is like super cute. It's got like a um, tie so you can kind of manipulate the sizing a little bit um, depending on your body, your bust size, all of that. So this one's actually really cute. I like that one up better. Here we have the next dress, which is that like Easter colored pastel um, little prairie cottage core gingham dress and it's got the square neck which i think is very flattering and then it has um a nice big exaggerated puff sleeve 
then it goes out and it has that one tier at the bottom um, and it goes up to my knees but you know anyone who's not five feet tall or shorter it will be probably like a mini dress for them ignore my cat y'all so this one is very cute um, and then I don't know if you can see the back but it's got that tie um, and I think that is very flattering but yeah overall this one is great then we have the only non gingham piece but it's basically the same style dress as the other ones um, yeah so pink with the little ruffle at the bottom this is like a mini dress square neck and then like a nice puff sleeve super cute so here we have that pink cottage core square neck dress the very large puff sleeve it's like a mini dress goes to my knees very cute love it this one is a keep um, honestly I wish it was maybe one size bigger but it's not like a deal breaker it's not that it's not horrible and then we got this I can't tell if it's green or blue um, with the lighting that I'm in and honestly I would have purchased either color so I couldn't even tell you what it is um, but yeah another another gingham dress mini dress um, and this like bluish green like lagoon colored um, yeah and I like the feeling of this texture this one looks a lot smaller than the other ones although it does say it's a large so let's hope that those fit because you I don't know yeah so this one ain't it um, it's a very cute like style the sleeve is very cute I love like the little puff sleeve and then how it's cinched and it goes out um, so that's flattering it's got the square neck but honestly the dress itself is just like very poorly made very thin like you can see my silhouette there so you would it has like no lining and the fabric is way too thin itself so you'd have to wear like biker shorts or like a slip or something um but yeah but it's like i don't know in my opinion cheaply made too thin and not worth it so i will be reselling this and then i haven't returned something to asos in such a long time so i can't recall if it's like a big deal because you know asos is not in the state although i can't remember if this is like if they have like a warehouse in the states and that's where this came from or if it actually came from overseas so that'll be a lot worse clearly i was influenced some more because i bought this based on what i had seen on other people recently and there are these knee-high lug boots. So I already have like calf height um, lug boots from ASOS. And I can't remember if they were for a wide foot or not. I want to say yes. And they ran a little big. Um, and then this one it definitely was made for like a wide foot. Um, I also have like thicker calves. So I wanted to make sure that those fit. Um, but because it was wide and the other lug boots run a little big i um went down to a seven instead of like a seven and a half not that i think that was even available honestly but um yeah so i sized down as opposed to sizing up so hopefully these look good so here are the boots um ignore my door my dog uh does not like to be locked out of the room he does not approve of such a thing so he like kicked that door's ass pretty much <laughs> is what happened but anyways we're not here for that um so these are the boots i absolutely love them they are in my opinion like very flattering they are literally what i dreamed of um and they fit like perfectly like they go up to my knees they are slimming um, and still fit my calves. It has like a little side zipper 
Um, I wore them earlier with socks, but right now I'm not, and they fit fine. Um, so yeah, I'm so happy about these, and I'm glad that they worked out because they were not returnable. So yeah, um, pretty much everything was a good um, option except for the dress that I'm wearing now, unfortunately. But yeah, pretty happy with the haul. So I am in the middle of doing my level two Reiki workbook that I mentioned this morning. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing for the next few hours. So I'm going to be ending the vlog here. Thank you guys for joining me on my day and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.